A Call 6 investigation uncovers an alarming problem in Indiana classrooms. Teachers injured on the job by students. And for the first time today, you're hearing from teachers who say it's reached a boiling point. Are you giving up teaching? Yes. What is that like? Heartbreaking. Sad. Like Hannah Moody, she lost hearing in her right ear, an injury caused by a second grader. It's You're completely life-changing. You don't realize how much you use your sound and your hearing until it's not there anymore. We uncovered more than 1,500 incidents in central Indiana since 2017. Students hurting teachers and staff. The solution is that we need support. We started this conversation on Good Morning Indiana and have been talking about it all day. Teacher injuries. You just heard Hannah say the solution is more support for teachers. You told us on Facebook what you think is the solution. Many say it comes down to parenting and that it's moms and dads who are at fault when their kids assault teachers and staff. Call 6 Investigates Kara Kenny talked to some of those parents and found out what they wish you knew. At first glance, Erica Hahn's son Spencer is a typical teenager goofing off. But this 14-year-old's life has been anything but easy. He had a stroke in utero, and so two-thirds of the left side of his brain never formed. Um, because of that, he has autism, seizures, oppositional defiant disorder. At times, Spencer has been violent, including at school. He will lash out and act out. So there have been multiple times where he has hit teachers or kicked them or spit at them. He has had issues on the bus with bus drivers, um, principals and staff. What is that like as a mom? I mean, it's hard because you know your kid's brain is essentially on fire and they are doing the best they can. She knows what people think. Erica read the comments on our teacher injury investigation. What did you think when you saw the Facebook comments that constantly said it's about parenting? I just, I wanted to cry, like I, I, I wanted to comment on every single one and I didn't. What do you say to people that say you're a bad parent? I'm the same kind of parent as you are. We just have different things. The system is completely collapsing and the kids are the ones that are suffering and the teachers. Erica has paid the price. She's had the Department of Child Services investigate her for child neglect. Allegations she says DCS ultimately did not find credible. Erica now works from home. She lost her job because she had to leave work so often to get Spencer. Keeping violent students out is one approach schools take. In Dearborn County, Katrina Bell's eight-year-old son, Marquise, was arrested and charged with battery after he allegedly punched and kicked a teacher and principals. He had a meltdown. He does have a behavioral disorder, and, and at times he, he melts down. Katrina snapped this picture of her eight-year-old son eating a jail meal when she arrived at the juvenile facility. It, broke my heart uh, when I went into the intake room to, to be with him and he just ran to me and, and just held on for dear life and he said I, you know I, I feel like I'm gonna die yeah that was that was very disturbing to me as, as a mom you know He's eight years old. His mom says locking kids up and charging them with crimes is not the answer to preventing teacher injuries they really need to have better training, I feel. Janae Hanger of the Positive School Discipline Institute agrees training for all school staff is the answer. It's not appropriate to put a kid in a detention center that is that young. There's a trauma when you arrest a child. There's a trauma, they, they, they fall behind in school. They become labeled, they're stigmatized. Hanger says it's the school's responsibility to create a safe environment for teachers and students. Right now we have over relied on school police and we've under relied on school counselors and social workers and school psychologists. The Positive School Discipline Institute is a year long program that's trained teams from 54 schools, not just teachers, but school resource officers, principals, deans and other school personnel. It costs time and money and the state does not require this kind of training for school staff. So he's gonna act out so that she put him out. 
Teachers who've gone through this training say they see why it's important to develop relationships with their students so they can work out problems long before things get physical. Like Katie Hamsel, a fourth grade teacher at Matchbook Learning Charter School. If I see them getting frustrated and mad, I stop and we talk or I give them space. Katie says the training was eye-opening. A lot of schools are just strict discipline and it's not working, so. She can understand how this type of training can help prevent student outbursts and teacher injuries. You don't have the background in restorative practices or understanding that the relationship and what the childhood trauma, what they're going through, absolutely, I can see where it could be an issue. Um, you just have to be proactive instead of reactive. Both Erica and Katrina pulled their children out of their schools. Katrina is looking at options and Spencer now gets bused three hours a day to a school that's better able to accommodate Spencer's disability. Erica says our state does not have enough schools and services to help students with special needs. At the end of the day, we're all we're all just parents and we're all just trying to do the best for our kid. And there, there's always a backstory. And I guarantee that the majority of the parents are fighting just as hard as I do um, to get their kids the services they need. And I guarantee these none of the kids are bad kids. The reality is a lot of these teacher injuries are caused by students with special needs. In fact, one school district told us last school year of all of their staff injuries, 79% involve students with special needs. <laughs> The Indiana State Teachers Association listed teacher safety as one of its top priorities this legislative session. And one of the solutions to the teacher injury problem was Senate Bill 220. It would require principals to report physical assaults to police. However, this bill failed to get a hearing this session. I'm Call 6 Investigates, Kara Kenny. And you can find Kara's full report on teacher injuries on our website, theindychannel.com.